message is going to start from the passage of John, first chapter, 35 through 42. St. John, first chapter, <coughs> starting at the 35th verse, and it reads, Again, the next day after John stood and the two of his disciples, and looking upon Jesus as he walked, and he said, Behold, the Lamb of God. Yeah. And the two disciples heard him speak, and they followed Jesus. Yeah. Then Jesus turned and saw them coming, following, and saith unto them, What seek ye? Mm. And they said unto him, Rabbi, which is to say, being interpreted, Master, where dwellest thou? And he saith unto them, Come and see. All right, and they all right. came and they saw where he dwelled and abode with him after day that day. For it was about the tenth hour. One of the two, which John spake, heard John spake, and followed him with Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He first findeth his own brother Simon, and, and saith unto him, We have found the Messiah, mm. which is, uh -huh. being interpreted the Christ. And he brought him to Jesus. And when Jesus beheld him, he said, Thou art Simon, the son of Jonah. Thou shalt be called Cephas, uh -huh. which is interpreted a stone. <laughs> The subject, and I, I don't want to say this, you know, it really hurts me. <laughs> Come on, fellas. <laughs> Deacon Thomas. Woo! He shook me. Subject, can I get a witness? All right, all right, all right. All right. I couldn't find a song to go with that. And I heard it start, and then when it said, can I get a witness, it just... <laughs> God will it. give you what you need. That was it. God will give you what you need. All right. God will give you a witness to his glory. Amen. And this day and time, we always want a witness. Mm -hmm. Somebody come up and tell you something. You first look at them and you measure the truth by that truth in the past. Uh -huh. right. If they've been a liar, then you count, don't count my foot. <laughs> In my old position there working with kids, I used to tell them first time I met them, I'm going to believe everything you tell me. But if I catch you in a lie, I ain't going to believe nothing you tell me. Uh -huh. So that's up to you. Uh -huh. If you ever catch me in a lie, look, if we spend together, I don't think you're going to be able to make up me believe you again. Uh -huh. So from that on, I'm going to call everything you said to me a lie. Uh -huh. So if you are, have a reputation as a liar, uh -uh. That what you tell somebody, if they've been around you, they know you're a liar, they ain't going to put too much confidence in you. Mm -hmm. That's right. All but right. the Word tells us the Word is established by two or three witnesses. All mm -hmm. right. So if somebody comes to you and they tell you something, and somebody else comes a little later on and they tell you the same thing, you tend to believe it. Mm -hmm. Because it's been established. All right. If Deacon right. come tell me something, and sister over here tell me the same thing. I said, well, I got to believe that. Mm -hmm. Because they came, they didn't know that one that told me, and they told me the same thing. Unless they both were mistaken, All I'm going right. to count it as the truth. All mm -hmm. right. Now, what we're looking for in God's kingdom is we want to be that witness. Yeah. We want to be that yeah. witness to somebody else. We want to establish God in somebody else's eyes. Yeah, right. We want to let them know that God is still doing the yeah. blessing business. Yeah. Right. We want them yeah. to know that God is still miraculously healing somebody. He's All still right. in the healing All business. Right. We right. want them to know that God is still doing miracles. Yeah. And this day and this time, see, a lot of people will tell you, the miracles, that's old time stuff. Yeah. Back then, the old time, 2,000 years ago after Christ came back, they were doing miracles. But now, it's just day-to-day -day stuff. It's just the doctors. It's just the lawyers. It's just your good luck. Luck ain't got no way in the heaven. No. Let me tell you that. Right. If you're trying to get to heaven, you got to put luck out the way. Amen. You got to put it in its proper place under your feet because luck ain't got anything to do with it. Mm -hmm. It's the precious mercy and All grace right. that comes to my Savior Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's the blood that was shed by Jesus Christ yeah. right. that you may be adopted into the family, uh -huh. that you may be one of them peculiar. Mm -hmm. right, that God can count on in this last need day. So when somebody come around, they all disheartened. They all down because they're down on their luck. Mm -hmm. Their luck ain't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> 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 I, 
I, I just don't seem to be able to do anything right. Mm -hmm. My love just ain't running for me. Yeah. I played the lottery. That's the first mistake. Mm -hmm. You putting your chance of your 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 going to heaven in luck. Mm -hmm. You do putting everything that you got in luck. All right. Mm -hmm. Because you saw a self. You saw eleven. Oh, I dreamed about this this flat. And the lucky book said if you dream about this. Then you lucky for a whole day, so I'm going out. I'm going to put going to the, to the right, casino, now. and I'm going to play some numbers. All right. All right. If you woke up this morning, you already been blessed. Yeah. Right. If you are clothed in your right mind, you already been blessed. Yeah. So everything else is just icing on top of the cake today. Was right. Everything else that God does for you, seeing you travel these long and dangerous roads, you see people on the side of the road, and you still traveling? Amen. You've been blessed. All right. Yeah. You were able to go from your home to downtown to a grocery store and get back without somebody pulling us up. You've been blessed. Mm -hmm. All right. We call it a blessing. It ain't got anything to do with love. It got doesn't have anything to do with who my mama and who my dad yeah. was. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have anything to do with my grandparents. Except that grandma, granddaddy, mom and dad all prayed for me. Mm -hmm. That ain't look. No. That's knowing who Jesus Christ is. Amen. All right. Amen. All right. That's knowing who Jesus Christ is. Yeah. I want to turn just for a minute yeah. to 1 John 5. 1 John 5, 6 through 12. As the old folks used to say, I, John. <laughs> Y'all don't know nothing about that. Y'all too young. <laughs> Y'all don't know nothing yeah. about this. So I'm going to go on by my business because y'all don't know. All right. The sixth verse reads, This is he that came by water and blood, mm -hmm. even Jesus Christ. Amen. Not by water only, but by water and blood. And it is the spirit that bears witness because the spirit is true. All right, all right, all right. For there is are three that bear with record in heaven: the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. And these three are one. And there are three <coughs> that bear witness in earth: uh -huh. the Spirit, the Water, and the Blood. Mm -hmm. And these three agree in one. For we receive the witness of man, the witness of God is greater. For this is the witness of God, for which he hath testified of his Son. He that believeth on the Son of God yes. hath the witness of himself. But he that yes. believeth not in himself, but he that believeth not, God hath made him a liar. Because he hath not believed the record that God gave his son. My and this is the record that God had given to eternal life. To us, eternal life. And this is, and this life is in his son. Uh -huh. He that hath the son hath the life, and he that hath not the son of God hath not life. Amen. The witness. Amen. There are witnesses on earth. And if you read and you study, there are opinions about water and the blood. Amen. Some say that the water, when Jesus was crucified, when he was pierced in his side, water and blood came out. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Others say that the water, he who believeth, has to be baptized in water. Uh -huh. And when Jesus was hung on the cross, blood was shed. It don't matter one way or the other. Amen. As long as you believe on Jesus. All right. See, All right. These, <clears throat> these people with degrees who have studied these doctors who come through and, 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 and they interpret the Bible, they want you to believe what they believe. Mm -hmm. I don't care. It's the blood that covers sin. All it's the right. water right. that that, cut, that that agrees with it. Amen. So if it's the water that came from his side, the blood that came from his side, if it's the water that you're baptized in, and if the blood that came from his side, it doesn't matter as long as you believe. Oh, when you man. get ready to leave this house, this house, when God gets ready to take you home, you have to be ready. 
And you don't have to be ready about which water it was. God ain't going to ask you which water you believe in. He's going to ask you if you believe in the Son, Jesus Christ. If you've done, if you've been a witness. There's a song that's out now, and I was talking to my sister about it earlier because I just heard it recently. And the song says, who's going to tell it? <laughs> Who's going to tell yeah, the people heard. about Jesus? All Who's right. going to tell the people that Jesus will forgive their sin? The video shows people out there fighting. And, woo! Mm -hmm. And the, the, the singer said, Who's going to tell them? And after a couple of verses, he said, I'm going to tell them. All right. Are All you right. going to tell somebody about Jesus? This world is dying for lack of knowledge yes. of Jesus All Christ. Right. Because All there right. are people in the world who come and they're they're hiring. Uh, they're yeah. hired to be a yeah. pastor of a church. Yeah. But the only yeah. thing they're concerned about is the money in the table. Yeah. Yeah. The money that you put in. Yeah. When, when trouble comes, see ya. Yeah. They go. Mm -hmm. These are hiring. They're not God's chosen people. My We're God. so My caught up in God. getting the right man, a right woman, to be a pastor. We come and, and, and I've been a the first church I ever been a pastor was a pastor of, they had tried. I'd been in the church for a long time and, and my the previous pastor stepped away. So they had people coming in and doing trial sermons. See if they wanted them to be their pastor. And after a couple of months of this night, God spoke to me when he left. Actually before he left, told me I was gonna be the next pastor. I didn't want it, first thing. So when they start doing all this trial sermon stuff, I ain't, you know, I'm fine. I'm, I'm there listening, playing a little guitar on the side. I'm good. And God kept telling me, you're going to be the next pastor. They kept bringing folks in to, to, to preach, and okay, it's fine with me. And then one time when I came to church, and wasn't nobody there. Mm. I preached for them in the past, so, so they came and met me. The sister, mother of the church came and met me and said, we've discussed it. And we want you to be the pastor. Uh, <laughs> you sure? Now God already told me. And I finally I told, I know God already told me I was going to pastor. I let y'all do y'all stuff. When you pray, God will answer. People, they were in there praying, doing all this, the, the, the people coming up trying to be, you know, the trial sermon for a pastor. Praying for a pastor, and I'm sitting there. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to pray with you. <laughs> so, that, 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 that wasn't what I wanted to be. But God spoke to me and told me I was going to be a pastor. So when they asked me, I said, yes, I'm, I'll be a pastor. I've always been a pastor. God told me before the other pastor left that I was going to be a next pastor. So, yeah, I'll accept it. I was a witness that God told me before. And that wouldn't have been a good witness unless I told somebody else. Right. I told them what God told me. Have you told somebody what God has told All you? Right. Have you All told right. somebody what God has done for you? All so right. what kind of witnesses are you? If, if God is, you know, I didn't want to go through surgery. But God took me through the surgery. Amen. Right. And I had, I mean, I, if I didn't tell about the goodness of God, if I didn't tell what God has done for me, what kind of witness would I be? What kind of witness would the Hebrew boys be if they didn't say, God was in the fiery furnace. Amen. God was in the People will tell you that God removed the heat from the fiery furnace. That's, That's a lie from the pit of hell. Because if he had removed the heat, the people that opened it up wouldn't have died from the heat. <laughs> he didn't remove any heat. No. He made it so they could endure. Lord, yeah. We go through problems and we think, Lord, I can't endure no more. But if you stay right there, And the more you endure, mm -hmm. when you get to the other side, uh -huh. after the fire, Glory. you will come out yes. as pure God. Right. God's got a plan for it. So, church, let me ask you this question. Can I get a witness yes. to God's word? Can I get a witness to what God has done to you? Can I get a witness to who God is to you? Yes. Who is Somebody know. Somebody can tell a, a, a child that 
You know, we didn't have anything when we were growing up. But we was poor, but we had a love in the family. Yeah. Somebody can tell that child over there that don't have anything that God yeah. will break you. Yeah. God will make it. So that you will depend on nobody but him. You see, people go to jail, they go to prison, and God is putting them in a place where they got to sit down. Mm -hmm. They got to depend on nobody but him. Mm -hmm. See, Mama told me a long time, sometimes God will knock you down before you can stand up. Yeah. All right. You down there doing all you can to stand up, Lord, I'm, I'm going to do this. I, God. But you still got stuff in your heart. You got yeah. to get rid of it. Right you still got, got hate. Mm -hmm. You still got that enemy in your heart. You still don't like it. Mm -hmm. God got to sit you down mm -hmm. or knock you down before mm -hmm. you can stand up on all your right, own. Right. Lord, I, I, I need you because I can't do this by myself. Yeah, we get up right. in the morning. Let me tell you where I, when I get up in the morning. That's about 2 30, 3 o'clock in the morning or 3. I sleep a little late. Thank you, Lord. But anyway. <laughs> When you get up in the morning, first thing you ought to say is thank you. Yeah. I get down there and I get my book and I, I, I read and I listen to the Word of God. I listen to it in NIL, the easy version, and in King James, because I want to know what both of them say. But I listen to it and then I start praying. But before I pray, before I do all that, I said thank you because he laid me down to sleep last night. All right. He woke me up this morning and I feel refreshed. And I'm able to go about my way with somebody who got up in somebody's pulpit this morning and said thank you. Yeah. Amen. And God brought him down the road. He delivered him to that place, that time to tell somebody yeah. about the goodness of God. All and they right. wouldn't give God witness. Mm. They didn't tell somebody how God brought him down the road. How God avoid, let him avoid all the accidents. Yeah. And that state trooper that they passed by doing the above yeah. the speed yeah. limit. Yeah. Woo! Ain't God Thank good? Right. Ain't he good? Yeah. Thank you. Come on. We are, we are down here. Jesus Christ ain't coming back till they're coming back for all his church without spot or wrinkle. So we got to be that Christ that people see. We got to be the one that says thank you. We got to be the one that says God did. It wasn't me that caused that, <laughs> caused everybody to, to, to thank God and pray like they want to pray. It was Jesus. I told you you need to remove everything out your mind, everything out your heart. I, I told you when you need to pray. Well, let me tell you, when you need, when you got to pray, mm -hmm. remove everything. Don't worry about how uncle prayed. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about how daddy prayed when he got up in the middle yeah. of the church. Yeah. You pray what's on All your right. heart, All and right. you pray yeah. sincerely. Yeah. All right. And let, watch God move. Uh -huh. watch, watch it move. Watch Lord, forgive me my sins. Anything that's not like you, get it out of my way. Yeah. And now, God, as I approach the throne of God, let me do it humbly. Remove yeah. everything that's, yeah. I, that's not like you. Yeah. Remove the hate from my enemy. Mm. And see, some of y'all, we prayed. We prayed two years ago to God, Lord, remove hate out of my heart for this person over here. And next week, uh, not even, uh, tonight, that hate right right there. Yeah. Mm. Yes, it is. Because when you see them, Lord, no, no, no. <laughs> look, look. Jesus was human too. You don't think when they beat him that if it was us, we'd have been mumbling about it. Instead of saying, Lord, forgive them. They know not what they do. When they get ready to hang him on a tree, Lord, forgive them. Or they know not what they do. Lord, come down here and get them all. I want you to wipe them all off. <laughs> come on now. Come on. You ain't made it to heaven yet. But we've got to be, see, that's why we got to come to church. Mm. Because we're better together. When you've got a weakness, I can help you with your weakness. Pastor got a weakness. Y'all told Pastor, tell you about that driving thing, that's his weakness. So y'all need to pray for Pastor. That same token, I can pray for y'all. Right. Every night I pray for Trinity. And I pray for individually and collectively because we all need something. I don't care how big your smile is. Yeah. You might hide it from me. But God knows what's going yeah. on. Amen. God Amen. knows you need help. So if you need to acknowledge it to God, you ain't got to tell your pastor. Sometimes you just got to say, Lord, pastor, pray for me. Yeah. And if I go, what exactly it is that I need to be praying for? Because pastor knows it. God knows. God knows. If you want to tell me that's fine, but you ain't got to tell me. God knows what's on your heart. He knows. Fail not to assemble yourself together because we're stronger together. 
You yeah. got to one praying for you, ten to pray for you. Yeah. All right. We all pray one for another. Yeah. Woo! Right, God. What has God done for you? Can I get a witness yeah. that God yeah. woke you up this morning? Amen. Can I get a witness that he, he brought you this far yeah. on your way? Can I get a witness that you had? Well, some of y'all just sound nine, nine, sure about everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm <laughs> Trust me. I've been there. I've been in a place where I couldn't pray for myself. Yeah. I've been so down, so confused. When my daughter passed, I couldn't trust myself to talk. Mm. That's more open my mouth and pray. So I depended on the prayers of the righteous. Oh, yeah. I depended on the prayers of the righteous. So it's all right if you can't pray. But have those praise stack, prayers stacked up. All right. All have, right. Sending up our timbers, that, that song you said, sending up my timbers every day. <laughs> Tell me to pray. I'm building my house by sending them, them prayers. Mm -hmm. Them prayers. Mm -hmm. Mama's prayer, mm -hmm. they good. And they'll get you so far. Because Mama prayed that he saved you. Yes. But God ain't going to save you if you don't want to be saved. That's right. It's got to be your desire. Yes, right. yes. It's got to be in your heart to be saved. Yes. Yeah. Pastor can't save you. I don't have high clothes. You know, Pastor, I, I appreciate your sermons and I got this little bit of change up. That ain't going to get you in hell. Amen. It's a good thing. I'm, don't get me wrong. <laughs> All right. don't, don't get me wrong. Amen. But Pat, that ain't going to get you in hell. Amen. So if that's what you think it is, don't worry about it. Keep it on yourself. <laughs> it won't get you to hell. Right. I don't care how often you come through those doors. If your heart hadn't changed, it won't get you to hell. Right. A witness. Yes. Somebody's got to tell you. Yes. Yes. Somebody's got to go out here in the world. It's easy to be a Christian in these, I'm about to four walls. We got a lot more than four. In these walls, within, within these walls. It's easy to be a Christian. I used to do it all the time when I was a sinner. Look Christian like I wasn't a Christian. It's easy to look like a Christian in these four walls. Yeah. Sit back there and amen every once in a while, stand up and clap, you look just like everybody else. Mm -hmm. but God knows the heart. That's right. That's right. God judges the heart. Mm -hmm. I don't care what you look like. You can have six pounds of clothes and got too big for it. He still loves it. He still loves it. Yeah. I'm still here Amen. and I still have the opportunity to tell you about how, the yes. goodness of the Lord. Yes. See, Thank you all. I counted a blessing. Amen. I always wanted to lose weight since I was <laughs> since I was got so much over. I wanted to lose weight. See how God gave me the desires of my heart. Right. I didn't mean to lose it this fast, but you know God planned and not my plan. All right. Can I get a witness that God yes. loves Yes. Can I get a witness that God loves his people? Amen. Yes. We yes. pick and we choose who we're going to love. Well, you know. Sure do. <laughs> a, that brother over there, he, he just don't look quite right to me. I'm going I'm to stay away from him. Them, them folk down there at the border, yeah, they may be trying to take my job. I ain't trying to get a job, so I don't care about them companies. <laughs> <laughs> as long as they leave me alone. I ain't trying to get a job. I'm trying not to have one. Mm -hmm. I agree that there needs to be a better way. Yeah. But that ain't my job. That ain't my job. God ain't told me. See, let, let me, let me, let me, oh, let me hip y'all. Y'all young folks don't know what that is. <laughs> let me hip y'all to something. The church and politics ain't got no place together. Amen. 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 Church and politics, you don't bring politics in the church, you don't bring the church in the politics. Because them that do bring church in the politics, lying and they, they might well admit it. You get, they get up to a hole in the Bible or they say in some quote in some scripture that they get wrong. They ain't got no business. If you want to go to church, go to church. Mm. That is where you praise mm. God. That's where you mm. talk about church. Amen. Not on polit political forums. Come. If I go to that one lie, I ain't going to believe no more anyway. Mm -hmm. right. You know they got this thing now, they fact check everything. Yeah. They need to have that in the church. Mm -hmm. Fact check some of these pastors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, I, but pastor, that's a lie that we can tell back in 1974 when you said that. Well, that, uh, did I get that wrong? Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, 
unless you put in your faith in Christ. Amen. Right. I ain't going to tell you to put your faith Say in Christ. Say it, man. Say it. Because I'm a man. I might fall. I don't plan on falling. Plan on falling every Friday at 3 o'clock. Like some of us do. But you know that's a different story. <laughs> I ain't planning on falling. I ain't trying to fall. But you don't put your trust, your faith in me. Your faith should be in Christ. Yes. Can I get a witness? Amen. Christ is, we following Christ. You ain't following your pastor. You following Christ because your pastor is following Christ. Mm -hmm. You look past me to Christ. Amen. I'm trying to point you in the right direction. I'm yeah. trying to yeah. tell you what yeah. you need to yeah. be or need to do to get that. Amen. And as Martin Luther King said, if I don't get that with you, <laughs> we I'm going to be again. <laughs> Church, let me make sure I hit all my high points. God needs to see the physical witness. Amen. You know, we can we can speak as a witness. Yeah, God is, uh, he's been with me and I've been able to go through life doing well and I help out all those who need help. That's a verbal witness. And you're following home, you find out he's lying witness. Physical witnesses, they watch you do. Because the people out there, the world out there, wants to see what you That's do. Right. They will right. watch you. You call yourself a Christian, they will watch you. That's true. And the minute you fall, mm -hmm. flag on the plate, pass the line. Mm -hmm. Because he said thus and he's doing thus. Mm -hmm. God wants a physical witness. Yeah. He wants you to go out there and physically tell somebody. He wants you to go out there and physically be a child of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. He wants you to be a verbal Amen. witness, but he also wants you to be a physical witness. Yeah. He wants the people out there that want to find see God to see God in you. Yeah. See God. the Christ in you. Amen. Amen. God wants to do that. You can be a witness. But don't be a false witness. Amen. That's right. Don't be a false witness. That's right. Don't tell somebody something and the way they watch you. They find out you ain't living what you preach. Mm -hmm. You ain't living what you tell God. This ain't only preach. You ain't mm -hmm. living what you talking about. Mm -hmm. Deacons, sisters, brothers. Yeah. We have to be better. We have to do better. Because the only witness some people will ever see will be you. That's right. The witness of Christ is you. You decide. Nobody Christ didn't make you decide you want to be a Christian. He didn't tell you to call yourself a Christian. He told you to follow him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Back then, when they so he started calling themselves Christian, that was on them. He never said, call yourself a Christian. You can call yourself followers of me. But if you won't call yourself a Christian, that means you're Christ-like. Mm -hmm. Don't let your good be evil spoken of. Right. Because when you lie that one time, right. you're going to lose your following. Mm -hmm. When you lie that one time, they find it. And if they find it, they'll put it on Facebook, they'll put it on Instagram, yes. they'll put it on yes. everything else. Thumb tag, whatever they do, I don't know where it is. But when they, when they find you lie, they're going to post it. Right. So everybody else knows you lie. That's right. And then you're going to lose what you thought you had. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you this. If you fall a backslider, get him. Yes. The Bible says God is married to the backslider. He yeah. wants you back. He wants you to come back. Yes. He wants you to be that witness. Yes. But if you don't come back, he said, better be that you never, yes. never came this way than yes, to come this is. way and go back. Right. Yes. My, my, my. How can you fall in love All right now. and turn your back? Mm. Amen. I still love you, but I just ain't going to do what it takes to love you, mm. to be loved by you. I still love you, but you know, I'm I'm still gonna witness. What kind of witness you gonna be? Exactly. What kind of witness you gonna be if you can't maintain what God the little that He asked you to do with love? Yeah. It's all wrapped up in love. Love of God, That's love right. of your fellow man. It's all wrapped up in love. That's Everything right. else will come. That's right. If you find love. That's right. Those two principles of love. Love God. Love your fellow man. That's love your neighbor, as I said. That's it. It's all wrapped up in that. Because if you love them, you ain't going to kill them. That's right. If you That's love right. them, you ain't going to cheat them. That's right. If you love them, you ain't going to steal from them. That's right. Love. Now, can I get a witness that it takes love? Can I 
get a witness that God is good to us. God has allowed us to come and to be here together one more time. So somebody didn't make it. Somebody couldn't go to church this morning. Somebody had a heart desire to get to church this morning. But they couldn't. Brother Hill comes to mind. Every time I go around there, he said, I, I saw y'all on the video. Yeah. I tell Thomas, I don't know if I told you or not, thank you for getting that speaker problem worked out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he did. He wanted you to know that he is watching yeah. and he cares. Just like Brother Hill cares. You don't think God cares? Yeah. Yeah. You don't think God cares about his people and his message? Amen. You don't think God cares what you tell himself about El? Not only with your mouth, but with your actions. Yeah. You don't think God cares about that? I'm a witness that God said he'd never leave you nor forsake you. He didn't leave me when my mother died. He didn't leave me. Woo! Wrong subject. <laughs> Some things I just take too hard too much. Mama leaving me. Dad, brother, stop. But God. Could you imagine all that happening if I didn't have God, I'd be a run around in the corner. I couldn't take it. If I didn't have a God on my side, the God on my side, I don't know where I would be. It's a hard thing to swallow when you lose a loved one. But it's even harder if you don't have a God, the God on your side. A true and living God.